I'm Kimberly Glenn, the Communications Director with the Knox County Sheriff's Office. I just want to update you on what's taking place behind me here at Powell High School. Around 1027 this morning, a call came in from the school resource officer saying that shots were heard. Let me repeat that. Shots were heard outside of the school, not inside of the school. Shots were heard outside of the school. So, of course, as a precaution, um, the school goes on immediate lockdown and then officers respond. As you can see behind me, uh, we have all of our uh, Knox County Sheriff's officers. KPD has assisted us in responding as well. All of the school resource officers and uh, school officers alike. In addition, uh, the sheriff is here on scene along with Chief Deputy Lyon and uh, Chief Workman, who is our uh, chief of operations. So we have a lot of manpower on the ground. It looks like a chaotic scene. But in fact, uh, they are just controlling the situation to make sure that all the children are safe. Uh, the school faculty has done an excellent job of getting the children secure. Uh, I don't have any information about where you can pick your children up or when that will happen. I can tell you that the school is currently on lockdown until the school is cleared. Officers are clearing the surrounding uh, buildings, surrounding cars, sitting in parking lots, as you all experienced when you, uh, when you got here. Well, when she called it into dispatch, she said, "Shot! I've heard shots in the outside the school area uh, because I think it's important for parents to know their children are safe and that there are unconfirmed uh, accounts of shots being fired. So what we're saying is we don't know that shots were actually fired. We just have reports that someone heard the shots being fired. Correct, that, that is what we believe right now. Uh, I believe when she called it in, she said, uh, I've heard shots outside of the school in the area, not on school property necessarily, and certainly not in the school. Uh, so we wanna make sure that everybody, uh, that our, the parents of the children are clear and that the citizens of Knox County are clear. At this point, this is unconfirmed. We have no confirmation of any shots being fired. It was, the call just came in that shots were heard. And as you can see, as a precaution, uh, we take school security seriously. And uh, we heard that there was possibly a vehicle in question uh, on school property that was being checked out. I don't have any knowledge uh, of any of that. Uh, the sheriff will be on hand. He's actually inside the school helping to clear the school with officers. Once the sheriff's able to come out, then he'll have more information, and I'm sure he'll be happy to talk with you all uh, at that point. I just wanted to put everybody's mind at ease uh, because I know there's a, a lot of things going around on Facebook and social media and I wanted to give you guys the information that it is unconfirmed at this time. We don't have any factual knowledge of shots actually being fired uh, and your children are safe. What should parents be doing right now? I feel like some have come to the property. Some have come. Uh, I think I would just remain calm. Uh, and then the school, I'm sure, will get out an email or however they communicate with the parents via text message, whatever that, uh, whatever that is, and let them know where they can uh, pick their children up if they need to. The most important thing you can do for the officers here on the scene and for the faculty and the students is just to remain calm because we absolutely have this situation under control. Um, and it does, as you said earlier, a lot of this area is blocked off. Can yes. you know off the top of your head which specific parts of this that are Unfortunately, I don't know what's blocked off. and our officers were blocking off various streets, uh, but uh, there was a lot of radio traffic, and I, I can't confirm that exactly. Is all of the school property? All of the school property is on complete lockdown, yes, ma'am. What what's kind of happening now into the next couple hours? Uh, they'll clear they'll clear the building uh, they'll clear the entire school uh, which means uh, every bit of the school and once that is done uh, then they will decide uh, what happens at that point uh, with the students whether you know that'll be up to the school whether they dismiss or they just go back to uh, the school day as normal but once the building is cleared and we're sure that uh, there's not a threat an actual threat here uh, then the Knox County Sheriff's Office job, you know, will be completed here. Uh, we've also heard that there's some other areas that might be on lockdown too, a uh, church close by. Do you know anything about that? I don't know. Uh, I know we have, you know, a couple of uh, private schools in the area and there's some daycares, so I'm assuming that they're probably on lockdown as a precaution. 
So before you try to go and travel and pick your child up, it might be a good idea to, uh, you know, call or, or see whatever their method of communication is, whether they are actually on lockdown or not. And I think it's also important to note if we're on lockdown, if a school's on lockdown, you're unable to go in and get your child released at that time.